At long last, I'm getting back to my core collection, so I'm going to uh, show you a couple of albums that I have by Colorbox. Uh, Colorbox is a British band that was formed in 1982. They're on the 4AD roster. Uh, one of the lesser known bands, they never really got wide exposure over here in the States, and uh, I, I've actually never really met anybody just walk up to me and say, hey, do you like Colorbox? So they still seem to be pretty obscure. Um, fantastic band though. They were uh, really uh, pioneering, groundbreaking in their time. Uh, did a lot of cut and paste uh, electronic music, uh, used samples quite heavily, uh, experimented with dub, had really awesome female vocals, did um, superb dance tracks, released a lot of uh, intriguing singles, and they put out two uh, actual LPs. One is more of a true LP and the other's sort of an EP LP. And I'll get into those. So uh, let's start off with the first um, long player release by Color Blocks, Color Box. This is um, just self-titled. Actually, their two LPs are both self-titled. Has kind of an interesting uh, cover. You can see what's going on there. And then on the back, you have the same image reversed with some graphics on it. Um, this is what the inner labels look like. There's four tracks on this album. And it's an excellent, excellent album. Um, hard for me to describe. I would just suggest, actually, I, I like all of the Color Box albums. So I'm just going to say, if you like one, go ahead and, and track down all of them. Uh, this is a good place to start right at the beginning. Um, really groundbreaking sound. Um, four tracks, kind of long. You have Shotgun, Keep on Pushing, Nation, and Justice. Okay. So this, the first uh, actual single that Colorbox did actually preceded that uh, LP, and it was called um, Breakdown. So the one that's easiest to find is this, which is the second version of Breakdown, as the song Tarantula on the B-side. Uh, both of these tracks are about six minutes long. The earlier one, if you can find it, which I don't have, uh, has more of a primitive synth sound. Um, it's it's really good. Um, I have the recordings on a box set that I'll show you later. Uh, but th this is the one that saw a wider release, and this is the easiest one to find. It says a uh, record three color box. Has this kind of uh, grainy looking cover. It's mostly black and white with some splashes of blue on it. And uh, the song uh, Tarantula was completely redone uh, on the second This Mortal Coil album, Filigree and Shadow, and they did a, a, a fantastic job reworking that song and reinterpreting it. It really sounds nothing like the original, which is sort of an upbeat, uh, kind of blippy, almost dancey song, and they turned it into this, this really um, affecting choral piece with, with uh, uh, really... Um, interesting use of, of string synths and voices and things so and the lyrics really come through in the this mortal coil version i think more so than in this one okay the next one these are in roughly chronological order um there's a 12 inch single for the song punch um this one i i really love um i played it again recently hadn't heard it in a while that's what the inner labels look like um, totally worth picking up. My copy has a little butterfly sticker on the corner, so it must have been a notch cut, and I stuck that over there to conceal the ugly notch cut. But uh, these play at 45 RPM, uh, so you have punch on one side, and on the other side, keep on pushing and shadows in the room. I think the version of keep on pushing might be the same one that's from the first color box album there. On to the next color box single. Looks like this. It's the song Say You, which is a cover of a U Roy reggae song. And uh, B-side with Fast Dump. Kind of a plain looking cover, for color box anyway. Uh, labels look like this. <clears throat> um, Fast Dump is a good song. It's another one of their kind of experimental cut and paste collage pieces with a lot of stopping and starting. Um, Say You is the real prize on this one, though. Get this one just for that song alone. Uh, it's I think it's about a five or six minute remix, um, which is longer than the LP version of the song. And it's just a gorgeous song. Uh, Loretta Graham, of course, who does most of the Colorbox vocals uh, after their first vocalist, Loretta Graham, did all of the 
the uh, vocals on the Colorbox albums. And uh, she just has one of her best vocal performances on this song, Say You. After that comes uh, another song that appears on the second Colorbox LP. It's called The Moon is Blue. It almost has a bit of a 50s vibe to it. This one, uh, this is where they get into their first use, I think, of this cover that has the Japanese ladies and the peaches. And this one has a tambourine on the front and back also. You can see it's it's all sort of super impo imposed. And then this very unique font that readily identifies it as a color box release. This is a BAD 507, by the way. That's the catalog number. Here's what the inner labels look like. Kind of a black label with blue and red lettering, which I like a lot. It really uh, pops. Very cool looking inner label. So uh, this this is a good one. I would say this is not one of the top tier color box tracks, but The Moon is Blue is a good song. Uh, then on the back you have You Keep Me Hanging On, which is the uh, long version, which I think is about six minutes. Okay. Next up is the actual Colorbox LP. Now, the one that I have is a Canadian pressing on Vertigo, so it's a double album. Looks like this. And this is what the inner sleeves look like. Looks like I have a note here. So, inner sleeves. And, uh, I'll show you the labels, too. I'm just going to pull out one of the discs to show you those. This is what the Vertigo labels look like. They're kind of plain Jane, not very exciting. Uh, I kind of wish they kept this black and, and red and blue motif with the inner labels, but you know, no point in complaining now. That's all water under the bridge. So onto the album itself. Um, it's, it's one of the best albums I've ever heard. Uh, I think every track on it is excellent. And I love the fact that it just goes from one genre to the other. So you have uh, the first track is a little ambient uh, piano piece called Sleepwalker, which leads into this really upbeat, um, cut and paste sa sample laden song called Just Give Em Whiskey that samples Ronald Reagan quite a bit. Uh, then you have the reggae smash Say You as the third track. Uh, then the Moon is Blue again with that sort of 50s vibe. And then Inside Informer, which is a more kind of dancey, upbeat song that they didn't release as a single. Uh, then you have Punch on the other side, Suspicion, uh, Manic, which is a short song, has an incredible raw guitar solo by William Orbit on it. Uh, and then the LP version of You Keep Me Hanging On uh, and winding it all up with Arena, which was released as a single. Uh, and I don't think it was a picture sleeve single, just a black die cut sleeve. So it's, it just flows so smoothly. The sequencing on this album is superb. And uh, the interesting thing about the Canadian pressing, which I have here, is that it includes a bonus disc with some extra songs and some remixes. So you have Edit the Dragon, Hypnition, We Walk Around the Streets, and Arena 2. And then on the B-side, Manic 2, which is just a five-minute version of Manic, Fast Dump, and Sex Gun. And Sex Gun is just the backing trap track from Just Give Em Whiskey uh, with some Loretta Graham vocals over the top. It's really good, too. So even the B-sides are well worth seeking out on this one. Or, I mean, the, the version that has two discs that's a Canadian pressing is well worth seeking out. And uh, I also have this on the CD. Let me grab the CD real quick and show it to you. If I can find it in here. Here we go. So, so this is my copy of the CD. And the interesting thing about the CD is that it only includes, it includes some bonus tracks at the end. So you have Edit the Dragon, Hypnition, We Walk Around the Streets, and Arena 2. But it doesn't include um, Fast Dump, Sex Gun, and uh, Manic 2. So those are only on LP. There is a way you can get those on CD, though, and I'll be showing you a box set later that includes those tracks, as well as a bunch of other non-LP uh, color box stuff. On to the last uh, three color box releases in my collection. Uh, 
we have the official color box World Cup theme. Front and back. Um, this one is a excellent song too. That's what the labels look like. Could have been probably used as the World Cup theme for that year, which I think was around uh, 86 is when this was released. Uh, I think it would have made a good one. Uh, it has a little song called Philip Glass on the B-side that sounds, not surprisingly, like Philip Glass. That leads into a shorter edit of uh, the Colorbox World Cup theme, the official Colorbox World Cup theme. Another good one to pick up if you can find it. Um, this is one of my absolute favorite Colorbox releases. This is the 12-inch single of Baby I Love You So, released in 1986. So it was toward the end of the Colorbox uh, life. And uh, this one is another a dub classic, and man, it is good. Um, labels look like this. B-side on this one is, uh, I think it's got, uh, looks like we're shy one horse in shootout. So as you can imagine, plenty of um, bits of Western dialogue <laughs> and kind of a spaghetti Western feel to that. But uh, Baby, I Love You So, uh, I just... I could go on and on talking about it. I'm not going to bore you with that. Just uh, go out, check it out. Uh, it's a wonderful track. Okay, and then finally, to wrap things up with the vinyl for Colorbox, we have the, this is a double uh, single release of You Keep Me Hanging On. As you can see, it has artwork that's similar to the Moon is Blue single that I showed earlier. So let me put that back up here. So here's the Moon is Blue. If you hold them up side by side, you can see that the blue and red on the font is reversed from one release to the other. Uh, the cover imagery is very similar. It might even be identical. So it's kind of interesting that they recycled that imagery, which had already been used extensively on their first LP. Um, so th what's on this uh, double single, uh, really, really boring labels, you got a, a yellow color box label and an orange color box label. So I think this was a release for Canada. Um, maybe the song Baby I Love You So got popular and so they decided to release it as another single. Uh, so this has Baby I Love You So and uh, looks like we're shy one horse and shoot out. So it's, it's exactly the same uh, single as this one, just without that cover. So if you already have this, there's not really any reason to get this uh, unless you just want all four of these songs. So now this one is unique. This has You Keep Me Hanging On on one side, which was the B-side of the Moon is Blue single. And then confusingly, the other side of this single is Say You, which was the A-side of the Say You single. Don't know why they packaged it like that. Again, uh, it's just kind of one of those weird things, but I picked it up at some point. I guess I probably found it really cheap and... Uh, Sound quality is good. It sounds just like all the other regular single releases. So that does it for Colorbox. Uh, they do have a few other miscellaneous releases here and there that I don't own. Um, not too many, though. So go on Discogs and track them all down if you like or find them on the bay. And uh, I'm going to show you one more thing uh, here before I end uh, the video, which is another Colorbox CD box set. So let me go grab that. Okay, so for years, the color box uh, material on the singles was not available in a digital format. And so uh, I was so excited when several years ago, this little box set came out. Uh, it was not cheap. I think I paid about a hundred bucks for it new, uh, maybe on Discogs at the time. I don't know if you can, how well you can see that, but um, it's, it's pretty basic. It's just four discs with some... Um, I don't even think there's a booklet in here, just some little cards and things. But uh, it's it's super expensive now if you can find a copy of it. I don't know how many of these they pressed, but the uh, the mastering on this is excellent, and it includes every single color box recording, even some things that never did make it onto uh, to other releases. So you've got a uh, disc one is the full album with all of the um, extra tracks. Uh, disc two is all of the um, seven inch single versions of the songs and i don't have any color box on seven inch so that was a real boon for me um and then disc three is all of the 12 inch single versions of the songs and b-sides and then disc four uh it looks like it's got some um 
has some tracks off of the first album, uh, and it also has some unreleased stuff like Low Rider from a BBC session that they did, uh, The Wanderer, etc. So totally worth worth it. If you really do like Colorbox a lot, I highly recommend that you look for this. I think this is a 4AD release. Uh, it's just a neat little box, and you can find it on Discogs if there's any for sale, but it's not going to be cheap. I think the last time I looked, these were going for around 200 bucks. Um, you know, for a tiny box like that, that's a lot of money, but uh, you do get some good value out of it. So, hope you enjoyed the uh, summation of my color box releases. After this, I'll be going on to the rest of the C's and uh, finally moving on to the D's. It seems like it's been forever. So, thanks again for watching and please subscribe if you enjoyed uh, the channel. Thank you.